So, this is a quick video entitled How to Test an E-Bike Motor Without a Battery. And there's a very simple method you can use, as long as you can get the motor in a vice and it has this kind of spindle. Okay, so the spindle, I know this is obvious, but I'm going to explain. So the spindle stays still and this revolves around it. Okay, you'll see these cables coming out which is a cable that when used with a bike carries the electrical charge to the motor. Cheers you geezers! Oh, I've already got coffee. So anyway, how can we test this thing without a battery? Because obviously a battery is a significant amount of money. One to run this one is I made a 15S 60 volt battery but because I use old cells and my soldering wasn't any good at the time. It just slowly degraded and, you know, that was that. So, this has been in my shed for four years, three years, four years. And I just want to do a simple test to see if the all the continuity is okay. And the motor and the phases are all wired incorrectly. And that's very easy to do, is to hold two of the wires together. Now, if you hold two of the wires together and it's fine, it it comes to a stop but you can feel it shudders. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or hear it. It's like a shuddering effect. That means the two phases are working perfectly well. Oh, we'll do the same with that. So the yellow one to the blue. Again, we get that, that shudder, which is good. It's hard to turn and it shudders. Now what you can do is put all three of them together and you will find that it's very hard to turn, but there's no shudder at all. So, I'm going to spin the wheel. Who are misses? Recording. All good, right, I'm going to spin the wheel. One handed. And that's AC power. So, yeah, just wanted to show you that. So, connecting it to the top of the tower some way uh, is going to have to be done here. Uh, this is the back because obviously you couldn't have the power cable going out the front uh, So yeah, however, I connect it to a tower it will have to be done there so probably If I take these bolts off, I've probably got 45 mil so just under two inches So if that can go on and it can have some blades put on it. I'll definitely get some speed and We shall see that is let me find my tape measure. I can show you how chunky is Basically, that's about 24 and a half centimetres, so just shy of 10 inches. And it's about 60 mil, 60 mil, two and a half inches thick. So it's a 48 volt, 1000 watt motor, and it doesn't have the gear on it because it's a front wheel hub. I should have said that earlier. But yeah, so that's two ways you can, if you're watching it and you're interested in how to test an e-bike motor, that is two ways of doing it multimeter and then turn the wheel or connect the phases together two of those wires together and it should judder connect all three of them together and it's very hard to turn with no judder 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 judder